Hey folks, it's Ben. Welcome to Red Barn Homestead channel where I do most of my unboxing videos. Uh, and I'll reference this probably in a later video to come back if you want to see what exactly was in the box. In this box, uh, it's ordered fresh from Hong Kong, uh, is a Tech 2, 2 GM scan tool. So that's, uh, and all the accessories that are required. Um, going around trying to find a, a scan tool that was gonna do it all for me. And uh, all my cars are GM. It's like, why not just cut to the chase? Cover is at least 96 to 2013, which is right in my ballpark. So let's just go ahead and do that. So here it is. The box itself is well taped, very well, well done. And uh, let's see what we have here. We got bubble wrap. And on top we have our first cable. This looks to be like our main interface cable. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Tech 2 scan tool, it's uh, used by GM dealerships to help repair vehicles that are uh, for General Motors. This looks like it's not labeled candy, but this is the candy module. So this is used for later. CAN is the CAN bus system that they use like 06 and higher. Uh, prior to that, it was just uh, something else. Uh, and then here are a variety of dongles. There's an ODB2 connector. And so like... I'll get into it later. So there's a bag of these. And then we've got a couple of power packs available. So you can run off battery power through the clamps here. So you can uh, do that. And then uh, we have essentially a cigarette adapter or 12 volt power adapter, as well as two cables here. We have the actual cable connection to a computer and then a loop back cable, which we'll need to do when we power the unit up. Well, that'll be our first test. Uh, it comes with uh, documentation. These were later at the end made by Bosch. So um, I'll have to, I'm sure there's some PDFs on here and I'll probably, uh, if they're any good, I'll put them up onto my server, butchthecat.com and you can click on, look for PDFs and they'll probably be there. We have a white document, uh, white box here. That's, this is the AC power adapter. So you have three ways to powering this thing. You've got the, uh, Accessory plug adapter, it's opened up on the end over here. There it goes. Uh, AC plug, direct battery, and then you can plug it in. So if you have, can run an extension cord over, the convenience is with the battery and with the power. Um, when you start the car, your, your power port will lose power. And so it'll reset your tool. And then we've got all these, so all, those are all the accessories. And I was not thinking this thing was so big. So that's it for the box. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Wrapped in lots of plastic wrap. And a protector on the screen is the actual tool itself, which is fairly big. And so what this has over code readers and glorified code readers is this actually has the ability to push data to the vehicle as well. So when you're um, doing key fobs and things like that, you can acknowledge and accept and, and uh, most ODB2 readers are for emissions. So they'll do engine, but they won't do ABS or traction control or stability track or, you know, why are those lights on? Why is your airbag light on? This is the tool that can get into the body control modules that's GM specific, not covered by ODB2 and find out why. And so then you can get right to, what do I need to replace? Is it the right front wheel sensor that's causing my ABS light to go off? Or is it, you know, the module itself has failed? So that's what uh, a tool like this uh, will do for you. So now they don't make them new anymore, but apparently uh, the knockoffs from Hong Kong are great. Like they, they emulate it very well. So uh, you have the main tool and uh, on the tool, uh, you've got the, the big port down here and then your power port. So that's where your power connection is. And then you have two ports here and, and I'll get into the, I'll record the startup and how we test it initially. But uh, one of these, that loop back I, I mentioned actually gets plugged into here and we do a test. It's got little feet so you can have it like this. It's got Velcro hand rests so you can have it on your hands. Um, I'm really excited. It's pretty cool. So, um, we have our power cable and our communications cable. I probably won't hook it up to a computer, but uh, you're probably welcome to. Uh, the candy module for newer cars. And then like, this is the big, this is the important cable because uh, what they've done as an engineering standpoint 
is they've created the, the connection to the base of the unit. And then they have every adapter be able to plug into this thing. So that's what this bag is for. It's a whole set of, like this is for your ODB2 connection. Uh, and it lines up your key and locks in. Uh, but if you needed to put your candy module in, then you'd plug your candy module into this. And then the end of your candy, I have to take it out. Uh, it goes in line. And so my biggest question was, well, what happens if, my car is not needing the candy module. Well, apparently if it doesn't need it, it'll just pass through. So you can put the candy module on and just leave it on no matter what car you need. And I, I know this from like, uh, when I do ODB2 streaming off of like a Wi-Fi tool on the ODB2 port, uh, my Grand Prix doesn't require much cause it's not a CAN bus system. Uh, but like on the 08 Equinox and I'm sure the HHR we just got, uh, it will need the candy module. So uh, <clears throat> this plugs into the bottom of the tool and then the candy module goes in line. So this would be the male side and then we put our DB2 reader on that. And I think there's another adapter because some cars I believe require power as well. So they're different connectors, maybe not. Yeah, one of these might have a power port on them this is where you're not going to have to dig into parts of the web where you have to get into where the technicians are. But this is my ODB2 port. This is my ODB1 port. Um, it can do limited ODB1, um, but I haven't explored that. I got lots of ODB1 cars, so we'll plug it into everything once we're, we're, we're more comfortable with it. But uh, this can support some of that, and you can see it's not quite using all the pins, but. That way they could set their own custom pinouts and you could have a tool that plugs into things. So that's that's the kit. Um, the only bag we haven't opened is the power supply for the battery, which honestly, I don't know. I'm always gonna be in the, ca in the car when I do this and probably very rarely am I going to be out of it. Like I'll, I'll use the plug-in module because I'll have an extension cord over there or I'll just go ahead and use the, uh, the, the cigarette adapter here and it's got a little light on it too. But we'll get into the operations of it later, but this is kind of the box opening uh, of the tech tool. It's really big. <laughs> I said that once or twice before, but um, which is good. And then, yeah, you can use your up and down buttons and things like that, but uh, I'm pretty excited. So if you have any questions on this, go to my Turbo 231 channel, uh, which we'll get into the operations of this, but this is a box opening. So we'll put it on this channel over here. And um, if you have any comments, I've heard great things about the Chinese knockoffs, oddly, mostly because they're inexpensive and they work. So here we have our adapter. There should be a fuse in here. And uh, like I say, this plugs in right into the bottom here. And uh, then, yeah, the network communication cable through a serial cable on a computer. I think that technology is, is passed us by because now at this point you'd have to get a serial to USB because most computers only have USB. And then, yeah, this connector is going to be used for uh, when we do our initial power on tests, this will plug into one of the ports. One, yeah, it's gonna have to be this one. And it does a little communications check and, and having this loop back will be important for that. So that's that. So if you have any questions, comments, thank you for watching, appreciate that. And please subscribe to both channels, Red Barn Homestead for cool unboxing of things and uh, Turbo 231 for more information on this. Um, we had some codes show up on the Equinox that I'm unable to get to with the regular scan tool. So that's why we, we bought this so that we could, we could hunt it down. So sounds like fun. See you later. I know what that is. Easy. Oh, right. Then up here, there's a, technically a place to, yeah, there's one card in here. Remember the PCI cards? You know, in computers, laptops, they had those slim cards you put in and then you could have a modem in it or a network card or- Oh, okay. It's, it's that. Connect to a dongle type deal. Yeah, and there's a, uh, apparently Bay 2 never got used and this one should have the GM module in it, but you could have Saab and
I mean, you could update them, but this should the technology sold. It should be as updated as it gets. You know, stop supporting it by my laptop because CDs. <laughs>